Hello, this is New Vision TV. Here's the latest with me, Lynn Komdisha. The streets of Arua were filled to capacity as they welcomed the over 30 suspects who were granted bail by Gulu High Court Judge Stephen Movidu. Now, New Vision TV caught up with some of them after being granted bail and they narrated their prison ordeal. <laughs> Jinja Municipality MP Paul Muiru and Ntungawa Municipality MP Jared Karhanga described the past two weeks in prison as the worst experience of their life. Gulu Central Police Station, where SFC again tried to pick us because they realized that some members of parliament were in police hands. So they wanted us, so they came three times and police, they literally fought with police. And then at 2 a.m. we were brought here to Gulu Police. Now the worst experience again was at Gulu Police. Three nights sleeping on cement, they were sending out people bringing us food. So we basically get the little portions of food for three nights. And then we were brought here to court and remanded to Gulu Central Police. Now, if anybody imagined by tormenting us under all this aggressive and repressive approach, we are much stronger and greater in spirit than what we do. We, this we knew they would probably do all they can and, and, we, and we've, been, we've, been, we've been telling them that their days are numbered. Yeah, we don't have fear. It's, it's just a matter of time. Like I would. The people power is unstoppable. <laughs> people have already made their decisions. <laughs> we actually came closer. And if anybody wa wants to appreciate a statement, whoever saw what was in today's courtroom, that all political dissenting voices were represented here in full. Meaning that we are and getting united. closer and together as of course why they think that we are actually divided. All right. Paul Mwiru, Jinja Municipality MP, who even sustained injuries on his shoulder, said he was severely beaten by security officials while they asked him for the whereabouts of Bobby Wine. As a person, when they arrested me, started beating me, asked me where Bobby Wine was. The Bobby Wine would account for himself as a person. Two, they did not tell me an offense had actually committed. Three, they actually kept on peddling lies when we were in the cells that actually there was anything to do with the presidential car. It's a lie. Actually, we had our rally in Oli Division. The president had his rally in the Arua Hill Division. The two are different. We don't encounter, we don't meet anywhere. That's to start with. So I think this was a ploy to disorganize us and the winner and election. But of course, even despite for the torture, on my own behalf, and on behalf, even on behalf of other colleagues, who have forgiven the president for perpetuating this torture. I think the intention was to break the spirit. We can only break our bodies the way you see us, but we can't break the spirit. In the interest of the country, we have forgiven him, but I think he can do better. Uganda's part set the desperate under which he is to make the president of Uganda. But this is the country for all of us. Okay, so what, 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 what lessons did you, you, you have not been in prison before? What, what did you find in there? What, 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 what did you carry home from this? Well, actually, by going to prison, I knew that actually we are heading for the worst. B because, for instance, none of us was arrested at the scene of crime. The SFC boys, the, accompanied by the, the police and the army, came and broke into our hotels. They, under the law, they're supposed to tell us which offense actually they have committed. The lesson I learned that even other people who don't want to participate in the body politics of the country, they can pick and take you to prison. For instance, there are young people who are picked from the shops on the border borders along the way, and now they are on the, on the same charge with us of prison. But these young people, they have nothing even to do with politics because they were with men in the prison. They, do, they, do, they are not participating in the prison. One of them was, is actually a medical officer. He was riding a, a motorcycle. They hit him on the head. The motorcycle went in the direction he was arrested. So he has nothing. Many, many, people, many people have lost their jobs. So the point I mean that we see the public, many want to take benefit of the change, the fruits, but don't want to participate. The message is simple. Even where you are, they can pick you from there, very innocent. The way they picked me, the way they can pick other people is the way they can pick me. 
we need to put our heads together and think about our country. Otherwise, we're destined for the worst. Their ordeal can all be related with by those who have spent some time in prison. However, there was excitement in Arua Municipality yesterday after Gul High Court Judge Stephen Mubiru granted bail to a member of parliament elect Kasiano Wadiri Chadundo East Member of Parliament Robert Chagulani alias Bobby Wine and the rest of the treason suspects were arrested during the by election two weeks ago. <laughs> Moving on, Judicial Officer Esther Nambayas, the new Chief Register of the Courts of Judicature. President Yoram Museveni announced Nambayas' appointment in a letter dated August 7th, addressed the Chairperson of the Judicial Service Commission, Justice Benjamin Kabito. The President made the appointment under Article 145.2 of the Constitution, which gives him the mandate to do so. Kabito said he received Nambaya's appointment letter on August 24th and accordingly notified her yesterday. New Vision TV traces who Esther Nambayo is. Esther Nambayo joined the judiciary in 2000 as grade one magistrate. She served in various magistrate courts until 2008 when she was appointed acting assistant registrar of the family division of the high court. Nambayo was later posted to the land division of the high court in the same position. In 2009, she was promoted to the level of the chief magistrate and served in various courts. In 2014, she was again appointed Acting Assistant Registrar of the Land Division of the High Court. In 2015, Nambayo was promoted to the position of the Deputy Registrar and posted to the Commercial Court. She was later transferred back to the Land Division before being posted to the Court of Appeal. This year, she was elevated to the rank of registrar. Before her appointment, Nambayo had been posted to the Judicial Training Institute at Nakawa and was slated to report next month. Now, in sports news, Simon Okecho was the standout as defending champions. Ginger SS started off the boys' cricket week with outstanding wins against Ndeje SS and Mukono parents at the Logogo Cricket Oval. He was a show of patience, poise, and aggression as he cracked the 200 run mark in just two matches. Okecho's exploits with the bat in Ginger's 200 run win over Ndeje SS saw the batting batsman score 111 off 50 balls as his team set a 227-run target for Ndeje to chase in 20 overs. Against Mukono in the morning, when the wicket was not at its best, he chalked up 89 runs as his team posted a score of 136 in 15 overs. They went on to win that by 24 runs, but for him, it was a lesson in what it takes to be a good batsman. You're still watching New Vision TV and now for Pearl of Africa series, we take a look at the perfect vacationing places in Uganda. The last quarter of the year is when people start looking for vacation places. Now, did you know that Uganda offers perfect vacation places at affordable rates? Well, here are some of the places to consider while in Uganda. Uganda is blessed with the perfect weather all year around. This makes it your number one vacation country. No matter where you decide to spend it, it can be a national park or even other beaches. We recommend the Chaninga Lodges in Fort Porto Town. These lodges have a perfect view of the lake. They are suitable for couples and family. The Uganda Wildlife Education Center is also a perfect vacation home for you. Besides bringing Uganda's wildlife closer to you, they also make you share the same environment at night. But this is in these exquisite cottages.
For the lovers of national parks, Queen Elizabeth National Park and Kidepo Valley National Park have camping sites and cottages. For Queen Elizabeth, a swimming pool is located right next to the cottages. For more Pearl of Africa stories, visit our website www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also buy our copy of the Sunday Vision, which carries Pearl of Africa stories every Sunday. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet, anywhere on the go by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I am Lynn Kombisha.